Hello, good afternoon. This is David Sutter talking to you. And today is my free daily signal for Friday, October 25th, 2019. And the signal I'm going to share with you is EURJBY, Euro Japanese Yen, okay? If you look here in a 30 minute chart, we have a strong signal to buy, okay? But the problem is, it is starting to break a support. If you draw a line here on this support level, okay, it is actually bring this up just slightly. It hit this level of support before, but it's just now starting to break. Meaning, more than likely, it's going to keep on dropping. Okay, if you look at the higher time frames, the one hour shows a buy, which is fine, but the four hour only shows it to go down. So long term, this is definitely going to be dropping, okay? And today is Friday, so meaning it will probably going to retrace back up a ways and then um, come back down and break. It might break today, but with being Friday, I cannot say for sure. Um, it's definitely going to a long downtrend, but it's going to take time, okay? So we looking to sell this one uh, coming into uh, next week, okay? So with that said, I probably would not buy this one per se. I would place a sell limit pin in order, okay? This is kind of a unique situation, okay? Now check this out. What we do is we can draw a Fibonacci, but if I draw a trend line coming down, okay? We draw a trend line like this, right? What is happening is um, from this point to this point, okay, we have, uh, you know, this is our resistance. What I think is going to happen is the price will shoot back up, touch this trend line, and come down even further, okay? So as of right now, you know, the price is definitely getting ready to go back up, and you can watch it, you know, come up, touch the trend line, and shoot down. I would put a sell limit pending order like right around here okay so best we draw a Fibonacci retracement from this arrow coming down to this arrow okay and if you notice uh, let me all right, right there you notice where the 23.6 uh, touches this trend line I call that X marks the spot okay and why this is so unique is either it's going to break and it's going to go higher or it's going to drop and look at the higher time frames you can definitely tell it's getting ready to drop okay so what I would do is put a sell limit pending order right here at this 23.6 and all you have to do is come to new order change this from market execution to pending order and then go right here and choose sell limit okay meaning it'll go up hit the pin order and then drop and you, you'll be in profit okay for the app price just enter the price you have right here on the 23.6 which in this case is 120.595 okay and then for take profit you can either you can either not use a take profit or you can just put uh, where the price is right here uh, you can put like 1 point 120 point uh, 300 okay and what will happen is you have a sell limit pin in order and a take profit here. Okay, let's do 290 pips. Almost 300 pips, you know, almost $3 in profit. So that's not bad. Okay, you're looking at one penny per pip, right? Uh, one penny lot size. So that's okay. Now, uh, you know, normally I would tell you to put a buy stop pin order here another buy stop like that right or you can use like put a pin or put a buy stop here and then choose a take profit up here but I strongly do not think this is going to break okay I do not think that this trend line is going to break I think it's going to keep dropping all right so that's kind of what we always need to look at uh, different time frames okay that's why I always stress you know, looking at different time frames. You see right here on the daily, we do not have a red 
arrow. Okay, we do not have a strong signal to sell. But we don't have a signal here to sell either. The price came up, back down, come back up, back down. Now how far this is going to drop, we don't know. Okay. If you go back here on the four hour, we have a strong a strong level of uh, resistance here that was broken and is now a support. And if we mark that, okay, we this could potentially be uh, where it's going to bounce off of. I think it's going to drop even further. Okay, I do not think it's going to drop this far, but we also notice this kind of stands out to me. This point right here. Okay, this was the level of resistance that was broken and is now a support. So it, I feel very strongly that this could definitely uh, drop down to that level. If we draw a trend line coming up from here to there, see this? This is a strong level of support going up. All right, even if we look at the daily, we have this trend line coming up. So what I think is the price is gonna zigzag, zigzag, and touch somewhere around here, where this line uh, matches this trend line, okay? And if I zoom in a little bit, watch this. If I bring up that here, this level of resistance that was broken, that could very, very well be where it bounces off of, okay? This point right in here. All right, it could hit here and bounce up, may not even touch that trend line, but more than likely it will. And that is how these market makers or these banks control the price and tell you where it's going, okay? So once you identify your support resistance, then draw a trend line, and then you can see exactly where uh, this price is going to go in the future. So you can expect in the next week for this to be dropping, okay? And probably the following week, we'll see another trace back up, okay? But So for right now, definitely be trying to sell, okay? Look for good, strong sell opportunities. If you if you do not want to use the sell limit pin in order, and you want to be 100% certain, what I would do is wait, like on the 30 minute chart, wait for the next uh, red arrow. Once you get a red arrow, then you can sell, okay? Even the 15 minute chart, okay? And the 15 minute chart right now tells you to buy. And you can wait for this to come back up and then uh, hit the, you know, once it hits a, uh, excuse me, once it hits a double of resistance, it will show a red arrow. It probably will not even come back up to here, I doubt it. Like I said, it probably come up to this level and then drop again. And, you know, you can always draw a trend line like this and that will show you a good indication of where this price is gonna go. Somewhere right in here and drop back down. So I feel very safe that this sell limit pendant order strategy is good, but like I said, if you want to be even more safe or less risk, we we'll just wait it out and then wait for your red arrow and then sell, okay? So I'll leave it up to you exactly how you trade this. It's your choice, but uh, my signal right now for EUIJBY is a buy, but really it's not a buy, it really is a sell because the long-term trend is uh, bearish, meaning it's gonna be dropping, okay? So if you have any questions about how to use a sell limit pin order or trade the signal in general, please reach out to me on Facebook. There is a link below in the description of the video for my personal Facebook account. You can contact me there. Uh, also, there is a link in the description of this video for my private Facebook group. If you have not joined my Facebook group, please do so. This way, you can post any questions or comments in my Facebook group and myself or other traders can be happy to assist you, okay? So with that said, let me have any questions and I want to happy to help you. Thank you and have a wonderful weekend.